took everything I had He tore it all apart But baby, don't you touch my scarred guitar What's up guys, my name's Sean And if you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar So before we get started, why don't you just go on and uh, hit that uh, like button down there. You know what I'm saying? Look, we got some stuff to do, but the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to put a truss rod in a guitar neck, the easy way. Let's do it. Now anytime someone says something's gonna be easy, I get kind of skeptical. But this really is, if you have the proper tool. Now I'm not sponsored by this company, but I buy these all the time. It's just an Avid Power, small router, it's a trim router. Comes in this bag, nice little carrying case. It also comes with four bits, but we don't need any of those right now. We're going to be using this quarter inch round nose bit. Now you see this little contraption I got set up here? Now I usually cut the truss rod while my board is still square. But because this board wasn't square, and it didn't have enough room to be square on this end on, and on this end because of the headstock, sometimes you have to do things like this. So I took another piece of maple that has a very nice straight edge on it just clamped it down right behind the neck. You see that? Now see the cool thing is, is this router comes with this little mark here that tells you where the router bit is in the center. I traced the truss rod onto the board. So all I did was adjust my guide to where it would be in the middle of my mark. So I could just do it. And it's really that simple. Now I don't know how good this camera is going to show this angle. But I usually use the truss rod to get the final depth on what I'm doing. I just set it on top of my work piece here. And then I adjust it as I go. But I don't need to do that right now. I just need to go down little bits at a time and then we'll measure it. Got that gluing on. Everything's looking good. Let's move on to something else. Ooh, get, 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 get. Now that's that glow in the dark action for you. This is Nick from Bonafide's neck. You know, he's a Punisher kind of guy. But you notice I got the shirt? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. But this is even cooler. Now that guitar right there, I don't know what's going to be done with that. Right? Maybe something live. But I went ahead and sprung for the NEJE. Master 2 40 watt laser engraver. We'll see how that thing works out. But what is this? Now that's a coaster slash pick holder slash sharpie slash pen pencil holder. Now you know you need one, so go on and grab you one. There's a link to my eBay in the description. All right, so we're on the computer. Now, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with the program Easel. You just go to easel.inventables.com and pull up this program right here. This is a real simple program to use and I'm going to show you how we're going to use it to make the seven string bridge for the Wanders guitar. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to set our dimensions for our work piece that we're going to be doing. Eight inches by four and we'll leave it at that. And for our thickness we're going to make it a 0.59 That'll leave us plenty of room to work with, okay? Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go up here to this top left corner. You'll see there in the top left corner of your screen the little black thing that says shapes. You click on that. We're going to add a square. You see the square? Click that. It adds it. Now, I already know the width of this is going to be 6 inches. Okay? And I already know it's going to be 1.4 inches wide. So I set that. And it's given me the perfect dimensions for my bridge already. I go up here to my cut tab. You see that? Where the little hand is. You'll see it lighting up blue. You click that. Now we're going to tell it we want to cut outside the shape path. You see it lighting up blue here where the hand is? Okay, so now we got that part of the bridge. We're going to just put it here somewhere in the middle. Once we get it in the middle here like this, somewhere close, just going to eyeball it there for future stuff we're going to do here. We're going to go up here to the cut tab now. You see that lighting up blue? It's just underneath that help tab. See that? You click that and you drag this all the way down. 
You can see it on the right side here. It's going to cut it all the way through. Okay, we're going to go back up to the shape tab here and we're going to add another square. Now what this square is going to be used for is it's actually going to be where the saddles are going to go. And I know for a six string it's around 2.6 and for the seven string it's going to need to be three inches. So we'll go ahead and go up here. Make it three inches here. And then it's going to be 1.4 as well. And we're going to leave it exactly there in the middle. And then we'll bring this to the front so it cuts all the way through. Go to your edit here, bring this to the front. And then see it cuts it all the way through. Now I need to move this part forward just a hair. Because I need that lip there for the saddles to go. So we'll just eye that about right there. It's good and thick enough. And then I'll just close this down. All right. Now we need to make the base layer, okay? We're gonna go up here again to the shape tab, pull out another square, same thing. Three inches by 1.4. The reason that I do that is because we're starting from the actual size of what we want here. Now, the first one that we put in, we want to find the correct, correct depth for that. We're going to make it right at a 2.5. And then for this one, see what happens with this one is it goes right in front of there. And then we bring it back down like this to match the line bring this forward again or you could wait till the end I like to do it so I can see see that now this one that's on top so we're gonna make that right at a 4.2 and there's our bridge to the right there you can see it now the CNC is not gonna drill the holes for the saddles or the strings we'll have to do that Right now we're going to go cut this out on the CNC and I'm going to give you some instructions on how I do it. Yeah, I think that canary wood's pretty fantastic, huh? I shaved a piece off the back so it would be nice and thick and we could save that for some inlays later. But man, I just think it'll look really good on the mahogany body. What do you guys think? Well, we'll figure it out. But let's get on with it. We're going to be using this 1 8 inch bit. Now the only thing I changed on this was I took it from the middle if you notice and I put it down in the corner there and I added a couple of quarter inch holes on either side of the bridge because I'm going to dial it on when it's all done. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to set the starting point for the CNC after this plane goes by. We're going to start at the bottom left corner of this board right here. And then there's, it's kind of foolproof. You start bottom left corner of your workpiece and you pretty much just let it roll. Let me get it zeroed in and we'll start to cut. Perfect. Let's roll.
And then this is what we get in the end. And I think it's beautiful. It's brought out here in this better light so you could see it. Let me grab the body real quick. Yeah, I'm thinking that's going to look pretty good up there once it gets all shaped up. But I'm going to try to go string through the body on this. And we'll see how that works out. Now, I know you guys have been waiting on my next guitar giveaway. So here's a little contest. Check this out. Now, this next contest is going to be the coolest of its kind. Now, this may look like a full-size guitar, but it's not. It's pretty cool, man. Kathy made this. Look at that book match top on that thing. But here's the contest right here. My next live video, I'm going to take a list of people. I'm not sure how many are going to be there, but you've got to be in it to win it. Take a list of people, and we're going to send them this little guitar body and this little neck because the woods and cutting it out like this are going to be the hardest part for you in this little adventure. So we're going to actually send you this. You got to put some frets on it, some tuners on it, some strings on it, some pickups in it. Everybody's getting the same one. You got to put your knobs on it, stain it, put your contours, whatever you're going to do to it, do it. And then we're going to have a contest. And whoever makes the coolest little model guitar, we're going to make their guitar exactly the way they made it in real life. So join me in the next live video. And until next time.